What's up guys, it's Chef Plum for DreamingGreenGirl.com. My buddy Chloe's here with me, and we're talking about easy things to make, you know, maybe you have a quick dinner, you need some quick food, you're coming back from the gym, you're getting ready to go do some studying for an exam, you need some quick grub, you know what I mean? Something mm -hmm. quick but healthy, you know? Definitely healthy. And trust me, eggs are awesome. And the eggs are so overlooked, and a dozen eggs can last you an entire week. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Frying an egg could not be any easier. I think it's almost a lost art these days. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let me show you how to do it. Let's crank up our burner here, get it nice and hot. You know, it's all about heat when it comes to frying an egg the right way. You want to make sure the heat is, is, is kind of maintained. You don't want it too hot, you don't want it too cold. So I always put a little bit of butter in there because butter tastes good. You could totally not use the butter if you want to. And then I'll put a little olive oil in also. So you're looking at the. Uh, yeah, maybe a half a teaspoon of olive oil and maybe a teaspoon of butter. Kind of put it together in there. Now I've got eggs here. I prefer to buy a natural, no antibiotic, uh, free range egg. You know what I mean? Why? Um, well, the organic eggs you can get, again, they're fed corn and I don't know, I just don't like that so much. You know what I mean? I think the birds should be able to walk around and eat whatever they want. So that's my choice. Fortunately, where I live, we're very lucky with lots of farms and people sell their eggs, so we get lots of great farm eggs. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, you could go ahead and just turn that pan and mix that around in there for me so we get it nice and covered. And let's talk about cracking an egg. Seriously, this is one of those things that it, it can ruin your entire dish. There's nothing worse, Chloe, than when you get a bite of an egg and there's a piece of shell in there. You know what I mean? Oh, that's horrible. It's terrible. So, be really careful. Let's crack it once. Crack it all the way through. Hold your fingers in there. One hand, or let's use two hands. Sorry, not everybody can do it. Let's just pop it right in there like that. So let's crack another one and pop it right on top. There we go. Just like that. Now, once the eggs are in there and they start to turn white around the edges, you can see the whiteness that's happening. Take your little rubber spatula here, just kind of rub it around a little bit. Now we're going to turn the heat down. Very low. Too hot, you're going to burn the egg. It's going to look brown on the outside. Yeah, you know, it's just not that great. Now, not every time I do this does it come out perfect. You know what I mean? I've been known to mess these up too, even as a professional, for as long as I've been cooking. So it can be difficult. Now, do you have every eggs like for a quick meal? Always eggs and potatoes, eggs and toast. Totally. So once it's in there, let's go ahead and season it up for me. It's a little bit of kosher salt. On top? Yeah, just season all the way around. And give us some black pepper on there too. You know, if you didn't want to have the black flakes in your egg caring about keeping it. You can use white pepper. Just remember white pepper is a little bit stronger so go easy on it. Okay. Perfect. So those eggs are working pretty good in there. We're not sticking too bad. You know, I prefer not to use a non-stick pan. Not to use a non-stick pan. You know, there's Teflons and things they put in their pans. It's great. It makes things not stick, but they just haven't been around long enough. We don't know what kind of effects that has on food. You know, we just got exactly. so excited food didn't stick, we never really thought to see what kind of effects it would have. Or what chemicals are getting into our food. You just never know. You know, they swear there's nothing, but eh. If you just use a good amount of fat and cook it properly, it won't stick. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, look at that. That's perfect. Coming off the edges there. The trick is you want to keep your yolk from breaking. Now, there's a couple different things you can do. Soft yolks are when the yolks are nice and runny. You know, not everybody likes that. Uh, some people like them, you know, the, the hard yolks where the yolk kind of gets cooked on the inside. So not sunny side up. Right. So we're going to do them both ways here. I'm going to slice this in half. There we go. And we'll do one hard and one soft. Okay. So the edges are all nice and, 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 and congealed around here on the side. You can see where it's nice and white there. So we're going to go ahead and flip this one since the yolk broke and call it our, our hard egg like that. And you know, you season that one side of the egg, you know, you can season both sides, you don't have to. You know what I mean? You've put enough seasoning on one side, you can probably leave it that. When I do a soft egg, I actually don't flip it. Oh, a, go ahead. break the yolk? No. Uh, it just, it, it's easier to not flip it because what it does is one, you're not going to break the yolk and it gets enough heat from the bottom. When, the, when it stops being runny right there, it's cooked all the way through. You know what I mean? Yes. So there's no reason to flip it. Don't mess with the food if you don't have to. That's what I like. Playing with food is fun, but if you don't have to mess with it, there's a difference. Messing and playing. Let's not mess with it. There we go. This is getting just about there. And this one is pretty close. Again, being careful. So there's our hard cooked egg. Uh oh. Man down. Man down. And our soft cooked egg. There's a great way to get a nice bit of protein and a good healthy meal in, right? Right. That's what's up. I'm Chef Plum. 
and this is my friend Chloe, and we're here for DreamingGreenGirl.com, and we're talking eggs. Give it a try, and we'll talk to you soon.